there is a handy tool in macOS called Quick Look. It brings up a temporary window to preview the content of any file. It's one of the best features of macOS and I'm surprised how many people don't even know about it or don't use Quick Look very often. Let's take a look at it. It's basically the ability to look inside a file without actually opening any application. For example, if you want to look at the image, you can select it, just click on it in the finder, and then the simplest keyboard shortcut of all, just press the spacebar. There are actually two different ways how to open it. I can tap the spacebar once and it opens up a nice large view of whatever is in the file. In this case, an image. I can tap the spacebar again to close it. But another way to do it is to tap and hold the spacebar. So now I press it and I'm still holding and when I release it, it goes away. So it's really a quick way to look what's inside a file and move on straight away. But that's not all, there are a few more things to do with this view. If the file is actually PDF, it shows as extra this little sidebar with thumbnails of the pages for even easier navigation. It doesn't show for other types of files, unfortunately. But to open Quick Look Preview works for other types of files, not only pictures or PDFs. You can play music or even videos using Quick Look, and it should work with any reading format like TXT, PDF, or even Word, which is a third party app. If you find a type of file you can't open with this feature, let me know about it in the comments below. But now, Let's have a look at the buttons and options we have in this view. There is a close button first on the left. There is an enlarge button to make it even bigger. There is a markup tool next, which gives you ability to make some changes, edits on that file. Maybe crop a picture, rotate it, you can add your signature to the file and so on. And all of these edits can be done without using any app, it's all just in the preview. Again, this is mostly just PDF feature. It will not be available in all opened files. It will work on photos too, but not all kinds of files. Next one we have the share button. And the last one says open with preview. So it's suggesting your application in which you should open this file. You can do a few more things here. For example, select multiple files. So hold on command key down and select few photos. Now when I press the spacebar, I get a first photo just like before except there are some new buttons at the top. These arrow buttons here allows me to cycle through these photos. And I can also tap this little grid button and it brings up the gallery of all photos. It works with way more photos than I have in this folder. But there is even quicker way than the previous one. How to preview multiple files, even different kinds of files. And you don't need to open one by one or even select them all. You can just open any of them and navigate between them using arrow keys on your keyboard. I'll show you. If I put a folder aside and open Quick Look, you can see how it's moving between the files in Finder as well anytime I press arrow on my keyboard. And it's even more intuitive if you are in the list view, because you can go only up and down there, right? Well, it's not entirely true. If you scroll between your files in Quick Look going down with your arrow key, there is a folder. It gives a preview of that folder saying how many files are there. But if I use the right arrow, it will actually open the folder and start showing the files inside of it. So Quick Look has a lot of really cool functions and gives you the ability to quickly look inside the files and see what's in there. It's good for finding a file really quick without opening 10 different applications. This is the fastest way how to do that. In next video, we'll closely look at some other Mac features and hopefully you will learn something new again. So see you there.